Hello and welcome back to the second video of this tutorial series image processing in MATLAB and in this video we are going to work with the image um, input.jpg and this is how it looks so um, you have different color blocks here let us try to separate out the yellow block from this we are going uh, and this method is called color thresholding okay um, so your variable a has three layers and you can extract them like this the red layer would be a of s2 comma s2 comma 1 and the red G green rgb red uh, green layer would be this and the blue layer would be a of s2 comma s2 comma 3 so they are the three layers now uh, let us just see how each of them looks so this is the red layer this is the green layer and this is the blue layer yeah so yeah now um let us do this d equal to i am pixel of a okay now what happens here is that you get this cursor where you can choose points on this block. Let us choose some random uh, points on the block that we want to separate depending on its color. So yeah, and then double click at one of the points to end. And then you see this new variable D popping up in your workspace. Now let us go look at D. So D gives you the pixel values of all the points you have selected in the previous window. Now depending on this we can do thresholding. You can see that all the points have a red value between 255 and uh, and it's pretty much greater than 180. And the green value is also between 250 and greater than 180. So let's let's do this. Um so the output image would be the value of red must be greater than 180 and it should be less than 255 and it's always less than 255 so I'm not going to do that and uh, the green value should be greater than so 150 is the lowest number so let's say 150 and green must be less than the maximum value here is 252 so just say 254 and uh, coming to the blue value it's always uh, most of the time it's less than 10 so let's just take blue less than 10 so let's see how it looks so here you go this is your image and wow we, we actually did a good job but uh, you still see that it's it's not perfect it's not the best thing that we could get and you see these holes inside uh, uh, which are covered by white so these these holes can be filled by using the function out to equal to i am fill of out comma holes this will fill the holes in your image so if you see it out to it would look like this now as you see the holes which were pre uh, previously present here are not here anymore so next uh, let us do uh, this thing called a road out 3 equal to bw morph of out uh, 2 comma a road okay so when you do this your image is actually eroded out and the pixels at the corners are removed okay the pixels which are at the corners are removed and your image actually turns more messy so now if we want uh, a better result for this image we should actually uh, increase the number of pixels at the corner so for that what we do is called uh, dilate so we're going to do out 3 equal to out 2 comma dilate and uh, in this tutorial series i'm not covering all the parameters so for this function if you say one it's going to dilate one time if you say two it's going to dilate two times and if you don't have anything it would take one by default and i'm not covering all this in this tutorial series because that would make this too long 
Mm, so just make sure you also check help, uh, look at all these functions in help so that you know more. Okay, so now um, I'm dilating it once. Now let's see how it looks. And yeah, it, it almost looks perfect, but you still have this whole, uh, so let's do out for equal to I am fill of out three comma holes so that that hole goes away and if you see out four right now it looks perfect and you don't have that hole anymore right that hole is not there so yeah uh, congrats you have just uh, learned color thresholding and you can uh, separate out a, a specific color object from others okay now after separating the color if we want to find the properties of of the block now if you want to size if you want to know the size of the block or something like that how do you do it so um, i just click uh, did clc now which clears the command window and uh, i didn't do clear so you still have all the variables here so next what we do is stats equal to region props region properties of um, out four right so you get all these properties area centroid and bounding box okay if you go inside stats you can see area centroid and bounding box so uh, let me tell you what they relate to in the image so here's the image the bounding box would be uh, the square and uh, the square en encompassing the uh, the whole block so it would be somewhere here to here so it would be like that and then next the centroid is uh, intuitively the center of this block and the area would be the number of white pixels and uh, you could not only get this but a lot of other properties and you can find them in the help uh, you can find how to extract them from the help just do doc space region props and you have all these properties you can find its orientation perimeter euler number filled image convex image eccentricity you have so many so many things and mm, this would be very helpful in in many applications so make sure you check them out and yeah uh, that's all for today i hope you learned a, a number of things today uh, see you in the next video